You're tuning into the Tech Me Show. Welcome to the Tech Me Show. Today I'm going to show you how to just simply encrypt a file. So let's go into our documents. Uh, and as we are in Windows 8, you'll notice the ribbon is quite different, which you can change by going up here and uh, show ribbon, or the ribbon below or minimize the ribbons. But now you have it uh, full size and you have your manage and uh, you, how you can optimize the folder and what have you. But we're going to go ahead and just create a real quick file. Uh, but we're going to create a folder for it. And I'll tell you why uh, in a moment. We'll call it encrypt me as so and now we're gonna open that up and we're just gonna create a simple uh, text document right so now technically we can click this right click it and go forth and select properties and then in here yes you have your security blah 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 but in this case you would go to advanced and then encrypt contents uh, to secure data but I highly recommend you uh, do the actual folder for the file you want to do it in. Why? I'll show you. Click Advanced. This is what happens when you, when you do it without encrypting the folder. It's not very good. And he, now you have an encryption warning uh, telling you that basically there may be an encrypted folder uh, and uh, there may also be the unencrypted uh, file. So always don't do it this way. So that's why it says encrypt the file and its parent folder. So instead of just doing that, we're just going to go ahead and actually right click the encrypt the folder, click our file, click the properties, go to security, oops, I'm sorry, go to advanced, encrypt contents to secure data. Back up your file encryption certificate and key. This is incredible, and I believe it uses the BitLock. Um, so now you can back up now, back up later, or never need backup. Now, this is incredibly important, especially if you're uh, encrypting files that you're definitely going to need. You're going to need this encryption uh, uh, certificate key uh, that's using the encryption. Uh, simply because if you put it to another computer, you redo your computer, etc., etc., you're going to need this key. It's almost nearly impossible to bypass these encryptions uh, with Windows. So we want to click Backup Now. And now we're in the Certificate Export Wizard. So we'll select Next. And here's the greatness. I mean, look at what you could be doing, right? Uh, but we're going to click Export All Extended Properties as well. And we're just going to use the PKCS uh, number 12 for the PFK, uh, PFX rather file. Uh, and select uh, Next. Now for security, make a password on this, guys. And make it even harder. Uh, I'm just going to do... Uh, something very small right now but I recommend and I encourage you guys to do something crazy uh, because if somebody has your key and your files boom they got into it so now we'll select next and where to export it always use a USB stick but for the uh, what we're doing here we're just gonna uh, you know put it to our desktop but please guys don't ever save it to your desktop save it straight to a USB stick you never know who can uh, be tricky enough to um, hijack it from your desktop or undelete your files. You never know what kind of write cache, especially if it's a public computer or a work computer. People can undelete files magically. Um, anyway, so we're going to call it Encrypt Me because that's the folder uh, that we encrypted. So this way we know the Encrypt Me folder uh, and this is the key that belongs to it. And see, you have all files, but don't mess with that. Just keep it at the uh, PIE. So we'll go and click Save. Right? And now left click Next. Now this looks good. Yes, it has our PIE, uh, which is good. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and select Finish. Export was successful. As you see, it made the icon on our desktop. How do we know? If 
we right click it and click install PFX and current user local machine so that should do it for today with the tech me show now you have learned how to encrypt basically a file and folder and the right way to doing it and how to keep your certificate in case you lose your computer uh, your computer gets corrupted or what have you and you have a backup of your data always export to USB or some form of an external um, hard drive I don't recommend the cloud particularly you never know who uh, who could be sniffing on your computer your packets and what have you but you do what you want we're only here to tell you what we think.